All right, so I just read a comment on the uh, review video for my Edwin Jagger shaving brush. On uh, he he asked for a video on shaving, uh, either me shaving or on uh, how my prep and how I shave. So I figure I'd do that since I use my iPhone for all my videos and I can't shave with one hand and I don't have a tripod. So this is the best I can do. Um, I was thinking about making this video anyway and just seeing someone ask for it. So I figure I make it. Um, before I get into stuff I use, I'll give you a quick overview of of my routine. Uh, generally, I'll shave um, with my beard. I can't shave every day. My skin's just too sensitive. My beard's not where it's at. Um, if I do that, uh, I'll, I'll really nick myself on the neck area, like underneath the neck. Um, but my prep is I'll soak my brush. Like I have a bathroom cup, um, just a regular cup above the sink, and I'll put really hot water in that from the sink. I'll soak my brush for a little bit. I'll get some hot water and I'll let this sit for like a couple seconds and then I'll dump it out. And then I'll, I'll build a lather with this, with this shaving soap. And I'll normally do two passes. Um, one going straight down the face um, and then one coming up and then I'll kind of touch up the neck going across in a couple areas. After I'm done that, I'll rinse with cold water, uh, really ice cold water, and I like to practically stick my face underneath the faucet, and I'll run the uh, Allen block, and what that does, it really closes up all your pores. It's different from a styptic pen, um, where that's just for cuts, but this will do the same. It'll, it'll close up nicks, and it really closes and gives that skin-tight feel. And then I'll follow that with some aftershave. Now, I have used... Um, the Dove Shave Balm, which is kind of like a lotion, but it's uh, it's no alcohol, so it's like putting cream on your face. But I gen uh, I generally have uh, a bit of an oily skin, so I like an aftershave with alcohol. And after going on a couple shaving forums and reading about um, the big debate between should you use alcohol or not, uh, it, it's like fifty fifty. So I don't. I mean, these companies have been around for two hundred years so I don't think alcohol is killing anyone but uh these three the Brute the Clubman and the Gillette I like the Gillette because of the smell and that's just like a general supermarket kind um, and then I switch off between the uh, Clubman and Brute because I like their smells and I like that feeling of uh, kind of like a shock on the face where you feel like it's it's really doing its job and it's closing everything um, now on to my routine, or not my routine, but everything I use. Um, this is a shaving mug I found in my house. And from what I can see from the bottom, it's made in America. And I looked up the code HLC, and apparently these were glasses for, like, diners. Um, but it's got a wide open mouth, you can see. And that's just Dove soap, because I use, I use bar soap in the shower. So when you, uh, after you're done using a bar soap, you have little pieces left and I don't want to go to them to waste and I tried that out and it works for me so I just put a bunch of them in there and it made a shaving puck uh, the, the brush I use is a badger brush from Edwin Jagger it's it's one of their lower expensive ones um, and I think it's like the next level up from the bottom level of, of badger hair I forget which kind it is but uh, I, I got this off Amazon for I think a little bit over forty dollars so that was a good price and it's been working well. And after I'm done shaving, I do wash that out with hot water. Uh, that tends to work best for me. And onto the razor, um, I use a 1967 Gillette Super Speed with the black resin handle. And actually, the only reason I was looking for this specific model and the handle was because if you watch Mad Men, there's one episode, I forget what season, where he's, they show him shaving. And this is the razor he's using. You can tell by the handle. Um, I don't know if it's the exact year, but that's the one they use. So I just went for that one because I was watching that and looking for a new razor. Um, there's no rust on it. It's a good shape. Generally, after I'm done, I'll wipe this down with the alcohol just to get like the residue off. I didn't do that this past time. But uh, you can see the handle's in, in great shape. Uh, there's no chips or nicks or anything in it in the resin. Um, I was using an Edwin Jagger, but... I didn't like the three-piece design, and it was too heavy for me. This is a, a fraction of the weight of that, and I feel like I have more control with this, and it's also a little bit less aggressive on the on the face. Um, 
Then we come over to the Alum block, which I just started using. I couldn't find anything in any stores whatsoever except Artist Shave. And to buy an Alum block at Artist Shave, it's ridiculously overpriced. It's twenty dollars for one block. Um, I wouldn't buy anything from the Artist Shave. I think all their products are overpriced, and personally, I don't like them. That's just my opinion. Um, but I got these off Amazon. It was a deal for like two for twelve, I think, or it may have been two for eight. Um, but they're made in France. You can see the size of them. They're going to last you a decent amount of time. I've used this already a, a bunch of times, and I just keep it in this little metal plate I have, um, just so it's not touching anything because it is going on my face right after I shave. And uh, I just normally, after I'm done rinsing my face with cold water, you got to keep putting this under cold water so it has lubrication. And this is different from a styptic pencil where the styptic pencil is just for nicks and it closes off them. Uh, this actually seals and closes all your pores in your face better than cold water. And it really gives you that, that skin tight feeling. It tightens up your skin. Um, but it also, if you nick yourself, it'll close that up too. Uh, on to aftershaves. These are all the ones I've been using. Uh, I just started using Dove a, a little bit ago. And I, I don't really like it because it doesn't have alcohol and it's a bomb. So it's kind of like putting cream on your face. And as I already said, I, I kind of have oily skin. So I like using an alcohol-based aftershave. And I mean, these are these are just two classics. Also, Aqua Velva. I got to pick up a bottle of that. Uh, this one's almost empty, actually. But um, And the Gillette, too. This is just a basic, cheap Gillette aftershave. And I just like the smell of it. It's just a really clean, refreshing smell. Um, so on to the blades. I use a uh, Persona blade. It's made in America. It's not the blue crystals that are made in Israel. But I picked these up off eBay for 12 bucks, free shipping. If you're ever looking on Amazon for shaving products and you don't want to order enough, like you just want to order blades... Um, and you didn't meet that minimum $25 for free shipping, look on eBay, because I got them for the cheaper, and it was free shipping also. And I like how they're packed in this small box, and they're individually each wrapped. There's 100 in there. Now, uh, I also switch back and forth between Derby, and some people say Derby are on the lower end of sharpness. I think it more matters on your lather. I think if you have a poor lather, the, the shaving is going to be affected uh, greatly. And I just have a couple, I have 25 of these, 25 blades. And I like how these are packed versus these where it's five individual blades in this plastic cartridge. Um, it's just easier to store. I, I don't really care about the environment, but that's just me. So uh, so anyway, that's my uh, daily routine, all my shaving products I use. Thanks for watching. Uh, I do appreciate the comments and I do try to answer them. Uh, to the best of my ability. Uh, check out my other videos. If you like this one, subscribe. If you don't, uh, you don't have to. Um, so thanks, guys. Appreciate it.